All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to this Food Plot Chronicle video. Today is Sunday, August 1st. It is exactly 35 days since we planted our food plots at our farm and at Wally's. So today I've got some Groganics, 444 fertilizer, some soil defender, and we're gonna uh, put down a little bit of triticale that I forgot to put down when we seeded it uh, 35 days ago. So I'm gonna head down to the farm Gonna hop in David's Polaris and we're gonna head back. We're gonna get this first 35 day feeding done. And I'm gonna freshen up a few of the mock scrapes that we have back there and uh, change some batteries and a couple of the reveal cell cams um, that we have in, in the back there as well. Um, there's been some acti activity this morning down at the vine already. Uh, a couple of doe and fawn have been uh, at the vine and working their way into the food plot. So um, the deer are down there, they're out, they're moving around. It's a really cool morning. Only going to be in the mid 70s today, so it's got them up on their feet. But we're going to get this done because there is rain coming later today, so I want to get this stuff in and uh, get it ready to go. So I'll see you down at the farm. Everything loaded in the Polaris here. So I'm gonna head up to mom and dad's. We'll fill it up there. Uh, we'll fill the sprayer with the soil defender and everything up there, and then I'm gonna head back and uh, get this food plot uh, fertilized and freshen up some of the vines and replace some batteries on the camera. So we'll see you back there. guys got the sprayer loaded up and got my helper so we'll see you up in the back Well, Dad and I made it up to the food plot. I had to trim some down trees on the way up here. But, uh, so here's the plan for today. You got clover and chicory in the upper part of the plot here. We're gonna fertilize it. Um, the deer have been in here eating it. So, um, that's a good thing, that's what you want. But we wanna, we wanna fertilize it to get it growing a little bit thicker. Um, a lot of the new growth, we'll take a walk up here first. A lot of the new growth is starting to come up a lot better and I'll show you what I mean so take a look down in here this is your new growth all right that stuff was really small we want to feed it again today with the groganics and the uh, soil defender especially up top to really get this growing better but we've had a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of rain and we haven't had a good combination of rain and warm weather that has kicked off our brassica or our white rage. It's coming up in spots, but it's not doing the best. Um, so you can see down in here, it's really wet down in this spot in here yet. Um, and you can see the traffic. There's a lot of deer tracks, the deer coming in from the woods there, a lot of bugs too. So, um, just to be safe, the white rage isn't doing the best. And sometimes that happens. Mother Nature can play dirty tricks on you. And it seems like 
she's doing that to us this year with this bottom part of the plot. So I've got some uh, triticale that I'm going to put down on here first. And then from there, and I may, I may do the whole plot with triticale just to have it in there in case this clover slowly takes its time and that triticale will grow and get us <clears throat> into the late season as well. So I'm going to put down some triticale first. We'll get the granular groganics. And then I'm going to have Dad run the Polaris while I take care of the soil defender and get that done. So I got the uh, triticale seed all put down. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've got the granular. Sorry, we're up against this interstate. This is where our food plot on the farm is, and it gets loud. But uh, we've got the groganics. This is a 444 fertilizer. And the great part about this is it's really going to help. This has been a, uh, a four-year prog progress process, I guess you should say, up here. Um, this is really going to get that soil the nutrients that it needs and it's been working really well. We've got the clover coming up well. We've got the uh, Chicory's been growing this year much better than it's done in the past. So every year we make strides and uh, It's all benefit of the killer food plot products here So we're going to get the groganics down and then the last step to this process <coughs> Excuse me bugs all over the place is going to be the liquid fertilizer with the soil defender So, we got the triticale down. I put down the groganics uh, granular fertilizer. Now we got the soil defender. That's a 777 liquid fertilizer. Um, it contains humic acid. This is gonna really build that soil and develop the roots for our plants that are growing in here. The, the, the resurrection clover, the chicory, and then hopefully you know, the, the, the brassicas that we've got coming up, the radishes and whatnot with the, right, with the white rage, the beets. Um, <clears throat> like I said, they're not coming up the best. Mother, Mother Nature hasn't been the best for us. But we're gonna continue to feed this. So today's 35 days. Uh, in 35 days, we'll feed it again. Hopefully it'll start producing a little bit better now. Um, but we put the triticale down to kind of offset it. So if the 
you know, the brassicas that we have planted don't produce as well. Hopefully the triticale will continue to grow and can carry us through the season along with the clover that we've got in here. And there's still clover coming up in the bottom part. So I'm gonna put dad behind the wheel and I'm gonna be on the sprayer and we're gonna pull the Polaris into the food plot here and uh, we're gonna spray the bottom part first and then work our way up top and get this done. Then we just got a little bit of freshening up on some scrapes and uh, batteries to change on some cameras and then we're out of here. So I got the soil defender down. Um, we're gonna change a battery out here and this reveal cell camera and then we'll freshen up the vine over here at the entrance of the food plot. All right, we got the batteries in there. So what we wanna do now is turn it on We're gonna wait for a signal. It's searching for a signal right now. All right, and we're gonna hit the OK button and do a test picture. It's telling me that it's sending. And it says send was a success. And so as the app pulls up on my phone. And right there's our picture. So we're just gonna make sure we turn it all the way to on. And that camera's ready to go. So we got the batteries changed and that revealed, did a test picture, it send was successful. So now I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna freshen up the mock scrape and the vine, and then we're all done. And I'll hit one on the way down, but then that'll be it for today. So let's get this freshened up. All right, so we've had deer hitting this. We had them actually on camera this morning. So we're gonna freshen up the scrape area here. The bucks are starting to get a little finicky. We haven't seen the big buck much on camera, but he is still coming through this area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to use some of the Scrape Ignite, which is a liquid. All right, and this is gonna help get some liquid sent down into here. All right, so we're gonna start using that now as we're not far from the start of the season. So we're gonna take some of the Scrape Ignite. It's a socializer and a scent mark dominator. So we're gonna put some of that in here. All right. We'll put that back in our and the nice thing about this stuff is there is no shelf life. It's synthetic, 100% synthetic. So if you're in a state that doesn't allow pure urine, this stuff works great. It does not spoil. And we're gonna freshen up the vine with a little bit of, little bit of velvet. That's all there is to it. Well, that's it for today. Dad and I are done. So we're heading back. Got to do a little bit of maintenance on the sprayer because it kind of took a little bit of a 
died on us, so we gotta check the pump. But uh, for the most part, we got everything done. Scrapes are uh, freshened up. Camera's got new batteries, so we're ready to start catching some more deer. So thanks for following us along. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you're looking for some of the products from Killer Food Plots, visit www.killerfoodplots.com. Enter the promo code WBH10% and it'll save you 10% courtesy of Wild Bout Hunting. We'll see you guys on the next one. Click that subscribe if you're new to our channel and we appreciate it. Leave us a comment down below what you're doing to get ready. Season is almost here. We'll see you.